Congratulations, Earth stars. We've made it halfway through Mercury retrograde in Aries. I'm your astrologer, Elian Nicole, and in this video, I'm going to say a few words on this Mercury retrograde period that we are halfway through. Mercury retrograde started April 1st and it ends April 25th. However, Mercury entered pre-shadow March 18th. Um, and so meaning every, there were things that happened from March 18th to April 1st, communications wise, that now are is being reviewed or gone back over from April 1st to April 25th when Mercury retrograde ends. And all Mercury retrogrades are not created equal. Um, it really depends on the sign that Mercury retrograde is in. And, um, and you know, when you're looking at how it affects you personally, you have to look at what house that sign rules in your own chart. So I always encourage you to contact me for a personal reading if you want more of a detailed reading on how it might affect your life specifically. But in these videos, I like to just kind of give the general overview because we're all under the same sky and um, we're all experiencing these same cosmic currents but we all interpret them through our lives in varying ways. So in general, Mercury retrograde is known for things like, you know, miscommunications, losing things, technical glitches, scheduling conflicts, uh, cancellations, postponements, delays with travel, um, packages getting lost, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And that is, True, that does happen, but that's really just the debris of Mercury retrograde. There really is a much um, more uh, meaningful message or invitation from the universe, I think, during these periods for us. Um, and uh, in this case, um, uh, well, also, I just wanna say, People who have strong Gemini influence, like Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or strong Virgo influence, like Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, they will always be more sensitive to Mercury retrograde periods because they are naturally kind of Mercury-ruled people. Um, in this case, um, because it's in Aries, you know, people with a strong Aries influence are really going to feel this particular Mercury retrograde personally. But in general, for the collective, you may notice as you've been out on the street, you know, at the market, at the bank, in traffic, or wherever you deal with the public, that there's kind of a feistiness, an edge, like an aggroness, and, you know, Mercury is the planet of communication, so it's how we think, how we listen, how we speak, how we learn. And when Mercury is in Aries, Aries is ruled by Mars, the god of war. So this is... Uh, you know, kind of can be an argumentative, combative communication style. Also, Mercury in Aries is very blunt, bold, speaks without thinking. It's the kind of energy where people can destroy a relationship with words without even realizing it, you know, because they haven't thought about what's coming out of their mouth. And so um, that is really kind of like one of the cautions during this Mercury retrograde. Um, you know, depending on what house it is in in your chart, it could mean different things, you know. For instance, you always hear people say, oh, Mercury retrograde, I'm gonna hear from my ex. No, not necessarily. Some people will, if Mercury retrograde is in maybe your fifth house, seventh house, or 11th house, you might. But if it's in your 10th house, maybe you're gonna hear from an old work associate. Or if it's in your third house, maybe you're gonna hear from someone you went to elementary school with, or, you know, a neighbor, an old neighbor, or something like that, you know, it, it, it varies. Um, and so, yeah, it's not a straight across the board for everyone. You really have to look at your own personal astrology if you wanna know how it affects you personally. Um, but yeah, so again, this is an argumentative, combative, kind of frustrated, kind of edgy, feisty Mercury, ruled by Mars, the god of war. Mars happens to be in Pisces, and he is conjunct Saturn 
you know, and as Mercury retrograde started, he was approaching the conjunction with Saturn. And as Mercury kazimied yesterday, Mercury was in the heart of the sun yesterday, April 11th. And that was the midpoint of the Mercury retrograde. So Mercury basically died and was reborn yesterday. And as he continues, he's going to gain more and more strength as he gets away from the sun. But as he was dying and as he was in the heart of the sun, that may have been a moment of clarity, like, aha, this is how I need to move forward with this situation. And you may not be in a position yet to move forward until a April 25th, but now there's more of an idea as of the Kazemi yesterday. We're in the halfway point. So, um, but yeah, Mars being conjunct Saturn is making this Mercury and Aries very emotional because Pisces is watery and emotional. And, and so, there's a lot of emotional pressure with and a combative Aries at the same time. So a combative Mars, Mercury, I mean. And so that sets the tone for, you know, you can see what's going on. It's almost like there's a pot of boiling water that comes to this boiling point. And, and so uh, what else do I want to say about Mercury retrograde in Aries? Oh, it's also... Um, you know, this, he's meeting with Chiron, the wounded healer, who's also in Aries and, you know, Venus is in Aries and she's like, you know, the warrior princess who is like, you know, she's kind of on a, on a war path around Venusian things like love and beauty and art and justice. And, and then we've got the eclipse that just happened, which is really wanting us to make this, this new start, this blazing new start in our lives. But Mercury retrograde is like, ah, oh, but all the details aren't in place. All the information isn't there, or, you know, somebody's not calling back or whatever is happening. It's like, it's slowing it down. But Aries is at the gate, ready to put the pedal to the metal and move forward. And Mercury retrograde is like still trying to go back and tie up loose ends or talk about the past or, you know, I mean, and, and, and to a degree, that is what we are supposed to do during Mercury retrograde. You know, I feel like Mercury, when it's retrograde, it only beats you up if you're swimming against the cosmic currents. But if you're using the cosmic energy for what it's meant for, and in the case of Mercury retrograde, anything review, rewrite, replenish, restore, renew, um, reinstate uh all of the rewords are really good to do during mercury retrograde those kinds of actions and communications are supported by the cosmos during a retrograde you don't necessarily want to start something brand new during retro retrograde you don't want to launch a business or get married or do you know mark any brand new start unless if you're born with Mercury retrograde in your chart, it may be favorable to start things with Mercury retrograde. And so again, you always have to understand your own personal astrology. None of the mundane astrology is a blanket statement for all because we are all coded a little bit differently um, or a lot differently in some cases. But um, yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I think that that's basically the overview. I hope that I got it all in, um, you know, but we're halfway through as of the Kazemi, um, April 11th. And the day that Mercury stations on April 25th might be one of the strongest days of the um, the whole retrograde period. So a lot of the really, that might be a day to you know, watch what you say, watch, you know, because this is the kind of energy where people can say things with, and destroy a relationship and not even realize it, you know? Um, and um, there's been a lot of that going on already in the Mercury retrograde period, but it gets very strong as Mercury is stationing. Um, oh yes, and this Mercury is also, having, you know, dealing with Chiron, the wounded healer. And so this is really about our deepest wounds and having to talk about our deepest wounds or communicate about it in some way. And, um, you know, there may be an apology, maybe an order, maybe there's someone you need to forgive, maybe an amends needs to be made. Um, Chiron sometimes can have to do with talking to doctors or therapists. 
the wounds that we're dealing with are different. For some people, it's physical wounds or sickness. For others, it's emotional wounds or relational wounds. Um, but whatever it is, it's tender, it's raw, and there's a lot of communication that needs to happen around that in the <clears throat> Mercury retrograde in Aries period. And so, um, yes. I think I've covered everything, but definitely if you're watching this on Instagram, please follow me, please like, please leave a comment. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you're notified when I release new videos and please also leave a comment. And um, thank you for joining me. Um, I would love to read for you personally and uh, enjoy the rest of your Mercury retrograde. Oh, and I also wanted to say, I think that there that this one, the lesson of this retrograde with all the arguments and the this and the that, and it's really an invitation from the universe for us to um, work on our conflict resolution skills, um, I think as a collective, but also in our personal lives. And, um, and fights are gonna happen, arguments are gonna happen, disagreements are gonna happen, quarrels are gonna happen but how do we fight well? How do we fight without destroying relationships? Um, and um, yeah, so just know, you know, words can destroy and kill. And, um, and sometimes people don't even realize that they're doing it when they do it under Mercury retrograde and Aries. And so I've been seeing a lot of that with clients and even in my own personal life. And so, um, you know, that's a big one. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the tongue is might, mightier than the sword. And it's like with uh, Aries, m you know, a Mercury, a Mars ruled Mercury it's, can slice and cut with the tongue. So, you know, we just need to be careful with our words um, in, this, in this period. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about this now. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, I hope to, See you on my Zoom soon. I can read for people all over the country, all over the world. I put it up on Zoom. I put the chart up. I walk you around it. And then we can um, also, oh, we can pick a card. We can pull some cards if you call me for a reading. And let's see. I'm going to just pick a, a card really quickly before I leave you to see what the tarot wants to contribute to our <laughs> Mercury retrograde in Aries conversation. The King of Rods. All right. Well, sir, what do you have to say? Are you going to apologize? <laughs> Maybe you need to. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Bye.